Hello, your question is a very insulting question to me. And if I had known that this is what you wanted to ask me, I would ask you not to ask me that kind of stupid question. I've been in politics since 1990. I was brought into politics by Marafa Sokoto. You understand me, I like your marriage in Kapi. I've been in politics for many years. I've been in this game. I've been a minister twice. I've been spokesman to the president for three years. And I've been a leading member of the opposition, the resistance, over the last five years. And a day has not passed that I have not spoken about what I felt was going wrong in this country because that is what opposition is meant to do and that is what was done to the PDP by the APC when PDP was in power. You understand me? For you to use the word or anybody, including, uh, 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 including Yari, I never read that. But if you're right, even for you to repeat that to me, uh, can, you, can I please respond to you? Even for you to repeat that to me, sponsored at my level by you, for what? I will speak against Yari free of charge any day, any time. I am FFK. Do you understand me? I take on presidents. I don't take on former governors. He's an irritant to me. And let me tell you, since you asked me about it, let me tell you why I feel so bad. Because I don't know him from Adam. If he entered there, I won't even know it's him. The reason why I feel pained by him and my comments about him predate the ascension of this government. My attacks on him predate the ascension of this government. Are you following me? But let me tell you why I feel so bad. If it had been a governor from my state, or Shul State, or a governor from the South, that subjected his people to the sort of things Yari subjected the people of Zamfara too, for all those years, I would have been even harder. I would have hit him every day. I would not let him sleep at night. And I will condemn him. Because anybody that would allow that amount of blood to be spilt under his watch, and anybody that is facing a sort of allegations, 19 petitions, 19 very serious ones which for some reason the FCC refused to act on hopefully they'll act on it now there have been a few changes the pillaging the butchery the mass murder the genocide the killing and you expect me to treat such a person with decorum and, and decency well if you are prepared to do that and not consider those that have been slaughtered. That's all right. But please, you give me the opportunity when I feel it's appropriate from time to time once in a while to make a few comments about what I consider to be barbaric leadership and unacceptable leadership. That's my position. But what I found the most despicable in that is to use the word who. Who can who? Who has the resources to do that? Do you know where I'm coming from? Do you know who I am, what I am, what I was born into? My father was Deputy Premier of the West. My grandfather was a lawyer. My great-grandfather was a priest. At my level? I'm too big for that. And I don't have anything more to say about this former governor of Zamfara State. Um, I would rather talk about government policy. I'd rather talk about national issues he is a mere append you know and then of course what he did in fan i was a minister of aviation if i could have fought the germans the french and the westerners and literally banned flights coming into this country whenever it is they treated nigerians badly and sprayed nigerians like animals if i can do that and if i can stand for my people at that time from the hands of oppressors as minister why would I not stand for fan officials that claim they were assaulted and all I said was that I would have applied the law and I'm glad because we have a very cerebral a very decent minister of aviation I've known him for many years we used to play polo together and he has said what he has to say that 
if such laws were breached, people could go to jail for two years. Now, is that any different to what I said? You can't silence me with threats. You can't bully me. Ali Modu Sheriff tried it. This government tried it when they locked me up for three months. Much bigger, much stronger people have tried it. I do not bow. And that is why I have now been conferred with the position of the warrior and the hero of the Shinkafi Emirate. And I'm very proud of that. Now I speak not just as FFK or any of my other times, I also speak as the hero and the warrior of the Shinkafi Emirate. And so Yari is too small, please. Let's not talk about him. Let's talk about more important things. Now, somebody asked a question earlier, the, the, which was a much more important question. I'm sorry if I sounded harsh. It's just a, that, uh, yeah, that, that, I, 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 I appreciate your position. Uh, and now we've clarified. Thank you very much. You asked a very important question about, I believe you asked, how come all these years, why has the violence not stopped? Why is it?